Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us here inside of the Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console, monitoring all of these systems on board the orbiting laboratory. They are being led today by Flight Director Heather Rarick, and joining her at the Capcom position, serving as the voice communication link between the crews here on the ground and the astronauts up in space, is Jack Fisher. And that crew right now is the Expedition 32 members. They're being led by uh, Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka there in the middle. This is Padalka's fourth flight and his uh, third expedition on board the International Space Station. To the left is Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin on his first flight. And there in the right, NASA astronaut Joe Acaba, veteran of uh, one space shuttle mission, STS-119, on board the International Space Station for his second flight. The astronauts on board uh, pretty involved in quite a few experiment and maintenance activities today. Starting off with uh, Commander Gennady Padaka, who spent a few hours this morning back to back with fellow Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin as they work to do some maintenance on the Russian communication systems. They're working with uh, teams on the ground for an integrated command and te telemetry system upgrade, which will be used later on in the future for different uh, payload transmissions to ground sites. He'll also be doing a life on the station photo and video session with Sergei Revin before moving on to do some uh, house cleaning work on some of the dust filters in the Mini Research Module 1 or the Rosviet Module over on the Russian segment. And his fellow Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin, who again is working with him on those uh, comm system upgrades and that life on the station photo and video, will also be doing some stowage work today in the 47 Progress vehicle which will have uh, some undocking and deorbiting activities later on in the month as part of a slew of activity with visiting vehicles on board the station. Those will kick off on July 22nd when 47P undocks from the station and then redocks two days later to test out one of the new uh, Coors navigation systems, which is the automated system on board those unmanned cargo crafts that dock them to the International Space Station before finally undocking on July 30th to burn up upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Revan will also be working on the Russian Matroiska experiment, which is a radiation study which has a uh, human torso mannequin with an array of sensors in different slices throughout it that looks to study the radiation dosage that these astronauts are exposed to during their long duration space flights. And our third crew member of Expedition 32 right now is NASA astronaut Joe Acaba, who's going to be working with two different experiments today, the first of which the BCAT-6. He'll be mixing, photographing, and stowing a few of the samples for that. BCAT standing for the binary colloidal alloy test looks to uh, study colloids, which are tiny particles that are then uh, suspended in different fluids to study um, some pretty basic particle physics. He'll also be working on the Earth Cam, which stands for the Earth Knowledge Acquired by Middle School Students. He'll be setting that up in the WARF or the Window Observational Research Facility. He'll be doing that work today uh, in preparation for a week-long session uh, starting today with a system checkout and some targeting calibration work. And then students and educators from around the country here in America will be begin taking their images on Tuesday with over 121 schools already signed up to participate. 